Welcome to Power Wheel, your weekly power sector program from the Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN. This edition features a special focus on the Lagos Transmission region of TCN. It highlights developments, improvements and action plans to raise bulk power wheeling capacity in the region. Stay with us as we take you around the various transmission substations in Lagos. I am Chinwenwa Anyao and this is Power Wheel. The Lagos region is one of the nine regions under the Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN. It is the only region that serves three power distribution companies, DISCOs, comprising ECO, Ikeja, and part of Ibadan DISCO. The region is headed by the Regional Transmission Manager, RTM Engineer Lamina Adebola. As part of the tour of the many transmission substations, the Power Wheel crew hooked up with Engineer Debola at the Ijora Transmission Substation in Lagos. He spoke extensively about the substations and the region in this interview. Well, been around for within the axis of Lagos region for quite some time, so we are quite conversant with um, the operation and the uh, technical side of operation of legal region for quite some time. But in terms of um, the appointment as a regional transmission manager, it's just uh, about one, barely a year ago, I've been in this uh, saddle. The Lagos region is quite wide, having a huge capacity of entire bulk power wheeling capacity of TCN. Lagos region is um, unique in terms of the area the region serves. Number one is the only region that serves about three distribution companies. Is the region that serves Eco, Disco, Ikeja Disco, and part of uh, Ibadan electricity, uh, electricity division company. So it's unique. So our area covers the whole of Lagos State, part of uh, Ogun State. So these are the major covering uh, area. The region has been growing in leaps and bound over the past few years. Every year we try as much as possible to react to the growing demands of load. You know Lagos is uh, the center of uh, excellence and uh, that is where most industrial activity and uh, commercial activity uh, take place uh, in the country. So every time there's need for additional capacity. As we are talking now, we have uh, a 330 kV level. We have um, about 3,400 uh, MV of uh, 3,400 MV capacity, transformer capacity. At 132, we have about 4,210 MV. The meaning is that if you are using the 330 kV capacity as the yardstick, being the supplying side of the, of the value chain. So it means in terms of megawatt, Lego region can conveniently wheel 2,800 megawatt to all the uh, customers. Of these 2,800 megawatts of bulk power delivery capacity in Lagos region, how much of this does the distribution companies take? The remarks of the regional transmission manager is quite revealing on the distribution capacity so far, despite a huge availability of bulk power from TCN. I can confidently tell you that on daily basis, averagely, peak, when you add all the peak, and the peak might occur at different times. So let's even give it a benefit of that and say, okay, with the peak occur, and we add all the peaks together, all the peaks from all the disco is not more than 1,100, which means about 1,700 megawatt is left on touch in Lagos. And that's a huge amount of uh, power, and um, also amount of power that could generate a lot of uh, income and revenue for the power sector, if everything goes well. But despite that, we will continue as a corporate entity to continue to serve our people, to continue to expand our network in anticipation that other 
participants in the power value chain, we also respond and improve their own network and increase their own capacity. But we are not going to wait for them because, um, you know, transition uh, projects uh, take some time to achieve, quite a lot of time to achieve. So we don't have to wait for them, we continue to expand. Although TCN has significantly improved its infrastructural capacity at the Lagos region, Engineer Debola believes it was not yet time for the company to relax on its expansion drive. This year we have uh, um, put up some expansion program that we are going to pursue uh, very vigorously. Early this year we are going to, if I early this year, this uh, January, we have uh, energized 100 MV uh, transformer at uh, Ogba bringing the capacity of that station from 165 MVA to 265 uh, MVA. At the Ogba substation, which serves the populated Ogba township and its environs under the Ikeja Disco, the newly installed 100 MVA power transformer stood glittering. The energizing of the power transformer means that about 80 megawatts of bulk power has been added to the 132-33 kilovolt substation. While that has boosted TCN capacity, it is also providing huge potentials for Ikeja Disco to radiate more feeders to supply additional electricity to the numerous customers. The station supervisor, Engineer Ilesomi, spoke about the completed expansion project at the Ogba substation. This one is this one we are looking at is 100 MVA. This one can carry 80 megawatts of can wheel out 80 megawatts. The team was designed with three feeders, but at the moment they just have only one B for one feeders available. So we are still expecting the distribution people to come and. Uh, do the needful for them to be able to evacuate load from the transformer. He said before the new power transformer was installed, there have been four other transformers in the substation. We have uh, three 60 MVAs and one uh, Mobitra 45 MVA. But now with the introduction of this uh, T4, this one is T400 MVA, that, uh, that makes it to be 265 in total. At the moment, um, we have Ogba industrial area, we have Ogba residential areas, we have Agege, which comprises of um, Penn Cinema side, Ogba Jimmy, and we have Ikeja, because most of our feeders emanating from here ready towards Ikeja, towards um, uh, Charlatan Hotel, towards uh, Kwebi Allen. So we have a wide coverage area, even up to Akumwajo side. We are going to across the rail. We have one of our feeder gradating uh, towards that side. So we have a very big uh, coverage area here. Yeah. The supervisor said, although there were no challenges at the substation, the need to make more bulk power available to boost industrialization prompted the expansion drive by the TCN at the Ogba substation. Uh, the management deemed it fit that Ogba, because the surroundings here is an industrial area. So they need to ensure that the transmission can, can successfully wheel out enough capacity to meet the yearnings of the consumers. TCN is also expanding the power transformer capacity at the 330-132 kV Egbe transmission substation. It is where the Egbe power station is situated in Lagos State. Engineer Debola speaks more about this, especially about TCN's effort to add a 33 kV line to the network to benefit the Egbe host community. Early this year also, we are going to uh, energize a 30 kV transformer at uh, Egbe. The, the, the case of Egbe is a very, um, is a, is a very special case. You know, Egbe community don't have, there was no 33 kV capacity from all the installation done many years ago by the construction of the power station and all those, there was no provision for 33 kV supply for the community. So we, TCN, under the new management, saw the need to assuage the sovereign of this uh, host community. So we now uh, 
commence the installation of a 30 MVA with all the uh, ancillary equipment and uh, so that we can serve the community so that the community can also feel part of the uh, dividend of our presence in their, that community. And it's going to lessen the agitation and uh, improve their own uh, economic uh, activity in that area. So it be in the next uh, few weeks, we're going to uh, energize that transformer in the JD community. As at when the Power Wheel team visited the 330, 132 KV Egbin substation, the engineering team of TCN were busy on the pre commissioning test of the 30 MVA power transformer before it is energized. The substation has about 5,000 MVA and it is among the few large substations in Nigeria. The assistant transmission manager of Egbin substation, engineer Moyo Oluagbenga, gave a description of the substation's capacity. The substation itself has six outgoing and incoming 330 kV line. So by capacity, one of those lines can carry about 750 MVA. So you are talking in excess of 4,000 MVA. So we also have two by 132 kV, which each of them can also carry 250 MVA, making 500. So you can be telling that the wheeling capacity of this substation that you see here is in excess close to 5,000. The coverage is total in Nigeria. But when you talk of the sub-region, we cover up to Shagamu, Maryland, and Ikorodu axis. That is where the sub-region cover. Confirming the purpose of the newly installed transformer at the substation, engineer Lua Gwenga said there was need to boost the quality of bulk power supply within the immediate environment of Egbin area in Lagos State. We realized that the nearest substation here is about 16 to 70 kilometers away. That is Ikorodu. And the line 33 kV feeder radiating is long with so many T of. So for us to improve the, environment, the power supply in this environment, that is why the management approved the installation of the 30 MVA, so that we will be close to the consumer. Though we are going to relax with the disco for the radiating of the feeder. So the issue of tripping due to faulty line, long line, will be eliminated by this type of expansion. Your favorite program continues shortly after this break. Do not build under transmission power lines for your safety and health. Electricity power lines and substations, either for power transmission or power distribution services, are extremely dangerous when exposed to direct human contact. These power lines and substations transmit electricity that lights up our homes and offices, power our computers, TVs and refrigerators. On the other hand, the same electricity when exposed is extremely dangerous. It can shock, electrocute and kill anyone on its way. That is why everyone must adopt safety measures whenever we use or are close to electricity facilities like power lines or substation or transformers. For the safety of the people and animals, governments all over the world have approved way leave or right of way of 50 meters for 330 kV power lines and 30 meters for 132 kV power lines and for 33 kV lines the way leave is 15 meters. People are not expected to be found within this way leave or right of way for safety reasons. The lines can suddenly cut and fall to the ground with very disastrous consequences such as fire and electrocution of anybody and destruction of anything, be it vehicle, houses or vegetation on its line. It has also been established that power lines and substations emit electromagnetic fields, EMF, which is dangerous to human health. The World Health Organization, WHO, has warned that people who spend long hours under or close high tension lines stand the risk of being affected by EMF and be vulnerable to cancer leukemia in children, miscarriages among pregnant women, and other terrible diseases. It is therefore advisable not to build any structure or operate any business under or near any electricity high tension lines or substations. TCN wants you to stay alive, stay safe, stay healthy, avoid power lines. This message is from the management of Transmission Company of Nigeria. TCN. You're watching Power Wheel, a weekly program of the transmission company of Nigeria, TCN. The focus in this edition is on the Lagos region, which is one of the nine regions of TCN. 
The regional transmission manager, engineer Lamina Adebola, speaks about what it takes to manage operations in the region. The Lagos region can only be operated by those who know uh, uh, the, the, the intricacies in what is involved in the operation of, uh, of the region. So luckily we have uh, very experienced uh, engineers, technicians, technologists, operators and uh, all the staff are well uh, grounded in their work. It has not been easy because um, where you have um, so much network, so much, too much network, definitely you expect that uh, the possibility, probability of fault is always there. There's no, no time for any other work. You have to face the job. Day, 24 hours. Day, our job is almost like a, more or less than 24 hours. Your phone has to be on all the time. You have to attend to the fault promptly. Because apart from Lagos being the economic nerve center of Nigeria, it's also, you can also consider it as a, a city where all the elements, the, all the big uh, who is who in Nigeria uh, have one thing or the other to do. So <clears throat> you have to keep uh, you have to keep uh, your work, be at the best all the time to ensure that uh, everybody is uh, well served. So that is the essence of the job in Lagos. It's a very challenging job, but um, by the grace of God, we are coping. There have been cases of system disturbances on the national power grid, often leading to spreading power outages. The head of the Lagos region of TCN explained the position of the company on this and the effort it is making to mitigate the recurrence. Most of the system collapses we are having the network are not traceable to Lagos region. And uh, I want to also extend it that most of them are also not traceable to TCN. Because, you know, there are three elements to system collapse. There, yeah, you can even say four elements to, uh, to system collapse. We have the gas supply aspect of it. You have the generation aspect of it. You have the transmission aspect of it. You also have the distribution as aspect of it. Any of these four components can cause uh, system collapse. If there is a shortage of gas, sudden shortage of gas due to one reason or the other, and the generation station are unable to get enough gas, so their production will, uh, will drop. Uh, very drastically and then it would lead to uh, system collapse. So the same thing if there are trippings in the unit, you know, sometimes system collapse will occur. Why people talk about TCN when we have uh, system collapse is because we are the clearing house. We are the one in charge of uh, control of the grid. So whenever there are system collapse, people will just focus on TCN. But I think that is uh, a wrong notion. If this school refuse to take load, actually during um, uh, bad weather condition during rainy uh, season, you discover that a disco that is taking almost like 600 megawatt will drop to like 100 or less suddenly. So sudden drop in load are the major cause of, uh, of a system collapse. So all these things are part of it. But because the focus is always on this thing because we are the more in charge of uh, control of the grid. Engineer Debola also spoke about the efforts of the present management of TCN in building capacity of the staff members on the short and long term period. The current management has been a blessing to the entire uh, TCN staff. Not only Lagos region uh, staff, but the entire TCN staff. And um, I'm very sure if you ask anybody, they'll be, a, they'll be very grateful to the, to, the, uh, to the current management. One, the current management have been able to bring the best out of, uh, uh, out of each staff. Most of the job that uh, have been done now, the one that I've just uh, told you, they are done in-house. And these are things that have not been happening before. Somebody you, you don't even know how this capability is able to display his uh, ingenuity. And uh, they are getting better and better every day. So I think uh, in terms of human resources uh, development, human capacity development, this uh, management has done wonderfully well. So not to talk of other uh, incentives that have been added in recent times, but most of the time, you know, the legacy a staff can take away from an organization is the experience and the skill they are able to acquire while working. I think uh, in this light, the present management has done well. They have improved the skill of the workers and training. Apart from this on-the-job uh, on tra uh, training I've just mentioned, there are former training that have been organized here and there for the linesmen. Linesmen have gone for training from legal region. The electrical uh, maintenance staff have gone for training in Kanji. 
the protection uh, engineers have also gone for, for training in Kanji. So in terms of human resources development and the capacity upgrade of uh, the staff, it has been a very tremendous uh, uplift, uh, very different from what uh, we have been uh, having before. And I know uh, recently I received some, uh, f f some format of uh, the proposed um, training which uh, this thing is going to do. I think it's going to be a very uh, continuous, and 2020 will be better for, for the staff in terms of capacity and uh, welfare. The power wheel crew also continued its tour to the 132-33 kV Apapa transmission substation in Lagos, under the region where a 45 MVA transformer was recently repositioned. We bring you the details. The transmission company of Nigeria, TCN, recently gave a face lift to the Apapa transmission substation at the Aja sub-region in Lagos State. It repositioned the 45 MVA power transformer as part of its transmission rehabilitation and expansion program, TREP. The principal manager and station supervisor, engineer Mustafa Aliero Hassan, said the repositioning will enhance the quality of bulk power delivery to industries around Apapa after it is energized soon. It's one of the stations among the 127 number 12233 kg substation of under uh, uh, Aja subregion. This transformer is a 45 MBA transformer relocated from the former position where it was before with the aim at giving the supply to the distribution that is local area of this place at the same time providing supply to the Yaka Japanese company which is, uh, who is going to construct new GIS substation 2 by 60 MBA to install 2 by 60 MBA, uh, MBA transformers. He said the project at the Apapa substation was executed by the TCN in-house engineers, signifying a boost in their capacity to handle critical projects. Initially, this place was supposed to be mobile transformer. But after so many discussions, the TCN management decided to bring, uh, to relocate uh, one of the for existing 45 MBA transformer from the former position where it was before to this place. And also it was done by the TCN engineers locally under Aja supervision, under the supervision of our engineer Adebola, the GM transmission of Lagos region. We are proposing the, 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 the substation is 100% completed and we are presently proposing to energize, to finally energize the transformer by next week. That is it on the tour around the Lagos region of the Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN. We brought you highlights of critical projects delivered to improve the electricity supply experience of customers through their immediate power distribution companies' discos in the region. We're we'll bringing you more reports in the Power Flash segment. Please don't go away. where we end this edition of Power Wheel. We hope you will join us next week for another exciting edition. This episode and the previous ones are available on our YouTube channel. You can also interact with us on these other platforms as we strive to serve you better. I am Chinwenwa Anyao. See you next week.